Shook it up. Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Lainey, and today, as you can see from the title, I am bringing you a house tour. We've been in this house about six months, and I was waiting for it to be perfect, for all our photos to be hung, things like that, but, you know, we put things off, and it mightn't be perfect, but this is our new Shrewsbury home. It would not be a home without these two little munchkins. They are the heart and soul of this house. They make it smell extra special. This is our entrance hallway. So as you can see, we have a minion that's still going from my birthday. We have this epic helmet that Lex got one time when we were in York. So we've got a little mirror there, hello, which actually needs to be hung. We've got a collage of pictures here of Lex and I that's meant to be going here on this wall. But right now it's in the hallway. Selection of Lex's bike boots. We've got outdoor jackets. These are kind of like my dog walking collection and some of Lex's biker gear. His Deadpool helmet, which I got him for Christmas. Then we go through here, which is our lounge. Again, there is one picture that hasn't been hung. I got this for Lex for Christmas. Super cute, Winnie the Pooh one. And got the sofas. Now these are the same sofas that we had in our house up north. Lex's mum got me this for Christmas, I love it, adds a bit of colour. So the theme is kind of a gold, cream, beige. We have the units again that were in our old house, so they've come with us and they were from eBay. I love getting kind of individual pieces, so they're like reclaimed wood. They're actually old army boxes that have been um, varnished and had little legs added. I've got my stepper here for when I do my cardio, which I have to do later. Um, I love these um, apple crates. So. We just keep the wood for the fire in there. We've only lit the fire a couple of times this year because it's actually been quite warm. And we've got like little natural fire lighters. That's a dog bowl. Yes, it's Frankenstein head. And again, another apple crate and it's actually a footstool so I haven't put anything in that yet. But that goes over here for when we're watching the movies. That's Lex's laptop. A huge big rug. This floor is all underfloor heating so the dogs love it in here because the rug literally heats up. Don't you bales? Yeah, they just follow me everywhere. So over here we have some of Lex's granddad's old furniture and this is like an old school writing desk and this is where I kind of do all my editing and emailing etc. That's a picture of me and my best friend Roisin. We've got Lex and his sister. We've got a few little family mementos, cards that have been sent over the years to each other, psychic for life and then just got you know, random stuff in the drawers. Through, we have double doors out onto the garden. You can see we've got some garden furniture. It actually gets some really nice light and sunshine here. And then through this door, we go into what is our dining room slash the dog's bed. So I was cleaning earlier. We've got the dog's bed. We have a crate for Bailey. She doesn't, we don't lock it anymore. She just goes in there at night, but I think, I'm pretty sure she sleeps in the bed with Roxy now. We've got all their toys in here. And then over here, this is one of my favorite pieces of furniture in the entire house. This was new to this house. It is a cocktail cabinet, which I got, and we've got all our alcohol and glasses and things in here. And I love it. We've got Lex's Kraken in a limited edition bottle and selection of wine because we do like a drink. And there's the dog's water bowl. Is this your bedroom? Yeah, they have their own bedroom. Um, through to the kitchen and I love this kitchen because it's a very social kitchen. As you can see we have a TV in here, we've got this TV unit which was also new to this house and um, just felt it needed something a little bit retro. We've got a dog bed here, the customised one that I got for the dogs, it says puppies. Have like specks of orange because orange is my favourite colour and Lex doesn't fight me on it. Again a reclaimed wood table which I love and yeah it just comes with me everywhere we've got our chesterfield sofa this was the first piece of furniture that lex and i bought together and i just love it because it's like old and it's ours and it comes with us everywhere in our last house it was in the office and 
um, we didn't use it as much so now it gets used every day because we kind of sit here chilling out with coffees watching TV Lexus got his Xbox there then over here is my little coffee corner so we've got my coffee machine and then my Nespresso machine coffee pods we've got a grinder also have my uh, coconut oil and my collagen to remember to take it down here we have all of the cups down here we have supplements and you know medicines things like that and all my hot chocolates and teas and stuff then we've got Alexis tea nice orange kettle again keeping the orange theme going I love that we have a middle counter unit just because I feel it's more social that I can be cutting up the vegetables we've got some high stools there and I always like to have fresh flowers we've got big double fridge freezer unit and loads of storage so we've got like a pantry in here loads of storage here we have our laundry room probably a secret room to Lex he probably doesn't know this exists and obviously clean laundry there we've got a selection of proteins and things like that kind of like a general junk room if you'll have it through the dining room we have again double doors out onto the patio area out the back we've also got a side door here that goes out into the garden so it is quite accessible to the outdoors and the dogs can run around and play outside but to be honest they just spend most of their time following me around the house so as we go upstairs there is a downstairs loo nothing fancy it's small it does its job it's for pooping in nothing fancy so as we go upstairs this house is set over three floors we've got Lex's office we've got some guest bedrooms and so we have three guest bedrooms yes for our ever-growing family who come to visit us we've got a lovely big bath in here which we didn't have in our last house and we quite enjoy our baths so it's nice to have a big bathroom and a double shower in here then through here see there's a nice view out and it's a very bright airy house we've got Lex's office where he will edit videos and get shit done and we also like record things here we have his YouTube plaque and I also framed his front cover magazine which again we have to hang um, yeah we have a sofa in here just again for editing chilled out region of the house and it's just nice to have this kind of environment for him to work in and I often come up here and work as well then here we have some mementos from our wedding day Lex got me this for our anniversary last year because it was the paper anniversary so we have them hung up and then going up to our floor let's turn on the light we need to acknowledge that Lex and I have a problem with too many clothes, too many shoes. A lot of the bedrooms in this house have built-in wardrobes and every single one of them is full. So this is our dressing room. Yes, we've a joint jet dressing room. So we share this space. So this is Lex's side and his wardrobes. He gets three wardrobes on this side. His shoe collection, well his trainer collection. Some of his clothing. Then we've got kind of this. This is all from Ikea as well. So it's handy. You just fill it up with crap so I've got all like my handbags and things are in there and then Lex's hair products, my hair products, things like that. Then we have this dressing table where we beautify ourselves and I say we because it's both of us. Lex uses it too. He has a lot of products here too so it's not just me. Yes guys look after your skin, look after your hair and then your wife will be happy. So we have my shoe collection, well part of it. So I've got my trainers and my kind of daytime shoes. I have my heels and stuff in another wardrobe. So these are my two wardrobes in here. And I definitely don't have as much clothes as Lex. So moving through, we have a small bathroom in here. I'll just turn it on nice and clean. Um, yes, I did a bit of a spring clean. So we have a shower in here. And again, this is all shared. So try to keep it nice and we kind of just have another set of drawers here filled with t-shirts and stuff flex and ice and um, got a bit of a laundry room in here for dirty clothes and you know things like um suitcases stuff like that and then this is our bedroom this is where the magic happens where all the snuggles happen so we try to go to bed at the same time every day and um yeah spend time together 
in the bed, the laba, as I like to call it. Laba is Irish for bed, guys. Uh, Lex's mum made us this. I just love it. It's in a heart shape and it has come with us from the old house. And this bed has two. It's a super king size, so it's literally like two single beds put together. We've got a little ottoman here that matches and it's just filled with sheets and stuff. Then we've got two more wardrobes. So we do have a lot of storage. Like this one literally just has our dressing gowns and stuff in it. Um, I have Batman on my side and then Lex has the Joker on his side and this is something that I got for us and he also has a chocolate orange which he got as a gift at Christmas and it's still sat beside the bed so he has his Joker and yeah this is where the magic happens so to speak this is where the love goes we down. We do tend to try and go to bed at the same time and you know pillow talk is very important that's why i always say um my friends who are in successful long-term relationships and marriages they'll say that one of the most important things in a relationship is to go to bed at the same time and that is apart from when lex is working we do tend to try and go to bed at the same time and put your head down on a pillow dream together wake up together that's what makes a soulmate so this is our home. I know it was a very quick tour. I just wanted to show you where we spend our life and how we spend our life. And it's full of love. And hopefully it will be filled with family at some point. And I hope you enjoyed my little mini tour of our new Shropshire home. And I will see you in the next video.